In this release, the structural analytical model was improved in several different areas. You can find enhancements to help create and manage the structural analytical model, such as better visibility and greater control over the analytical model. Thanks to ability to create filters based on the connection status parameter, we have greater control over the analytical model. For example, right now analytical nodes with status is unconnected can be displayed in a different color than connected nodes. Now you can also adjust analytical walls in relation to nodes of analytical flows and analytical foundation slabs. The analytical wall adjustment tool now allows for the selection of nodes that are associated to analytical floors or analytical foundation slabs as the target position of the wall adjustment. You can also annotate analytical links as well as analytical nodes. You have also the ability to schedule analytical and physical element properties together in a single schedule. When you schedule the structural framing category or any other category with associated structural analytical model categories, you can find the ability to schedule the properties of the analytical elements together in the same schedule. The same capability exists when you schedule the analytical elements. This improves your ability with Revit to manipulate the analytical model to help solve round-tripping issues between Revit and structure analysis software. There is a new feature in the reinforcement settings called Include Hooks in Rebar Shape Definition. With this new option, hooks do not influence rebar shape. This improves definition of rebar shape codes according to European standards and extends structural workflows into the fabrication process. Also, in this release, the reinforcement routing functionality has been added to the Revit environment. You can now specify rounding parameters for structural rebar, for bar length, for bar segment length, and structural fabric reinforcement. This can be set in the reinforcement settings dialog box. Two new fabric sheet lab splice positions and possibility to determine the start point of fabric sheets distribution have been added for wire mesh distribution. These new functionalities of reinforcement precise modeling help move you forward to the next stage for detailing and scheduling. Rebar constraints are part of an internal mechanism used to set and lock the geometry of each rebar instance with respect to its concrete host element. In this release, you can now apply overrides to the default host constraint behavior on a selected rebar element. Once you select a rebar, the Edit Constraints options is available. Rebar constraints apply to rebar cover, other rebar instances in the host, and the host surfaces. Since each rebar element can be flexed to arbitrary dimensions, Revit attempts to automatically set the position and geometry of each rebar in a manner that is meaningful to the structure designer by considering the geometry of its host as well as the presence of other rebars.